Hey there, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on them later. Let's talk about batteries. Okay, if you've been paying attention, you might be aware that we have been making PCB bus bars for a while now. We've sold thousands of these things, uh, but we were making them for ourselves. We first tried for 18650s. We sold literally hundreds of thousands of those little PCB bus bars for that. Uh, and then we started making them for new cells that were lithium iron phosphate, but they were like kind of off brand, kind of like an off size, not the very standard lithium iron phosphate like these ones right here, right? And so now that those cells have been exhausted and there's no more, now we move on to these. We got a, a, a supplier of these from China, right? And traditionally I wasn't uh, pushing these batteries because they were so hard to get. You would have to like order them, take like two months to get here. And sometimes you would get like fake ones. I think all of those, for the most part, a lot of those issues have been solved now because there's plenty of production and there's several companies now that make them you know they're just out in the market so it's easier to like find a good trustworthy seller and stuff and so we've done that we have found a couple of sellers online we order from them we stock some of these batteries in our warehouse and we offer them from our warehouse and we also do like kind of a drop ship thing where we order uh you know you order from us and then we we have them ship it directly to you. So we're now uh, the bus bars, we're making them for them. And you might be asking like, why would I need this if they come already with bus bars? Because when you buy these batteries, the cool thing about them is that they already come with these like uh, bus bars right here. Each cell has one of them. And then each one has one of these little, uh, this is just like a, like a printed circuit board. This is what printed circuit boards are made out of, right? Uh, before they add the color and the whole thing. But this uh, little epoxy sheet is to put in between the cells, like this, just to protect them because this little, uh, this little cover here is just like a tape. It's very, very thin and you just need a little bit more protection. So that's why they include this in there and the bus bar right here. But what's happening is that a lot of people now are first timers and they're getting to build these batteries. And so sometimes they're confused. They don't know where to put the thing. You know, if you put this in the wrong place, then uh, you are making sparks and then you're not having, you're, you know, you're ruining batteries that cost a lot of money and they took a long time for you to get maybe. Uh, and so for that reason, we've made the PCB bus bar because this is all labeled, as you can see here, it's got a bunch of things that will help a first time builder, someone that doesn't know a lot about batteries, that they don't, maybe necessarily don't want to get to know too much about batteries. They just want to build one battery and then move on with their lives and then get to do it, right? And so one of the biggest uh, things about building batteries, like how to connect the BMS, now you got to read like your schematics and diagrams and stuff. So we're, this PCB is going to help you do all that stuff. First, build a battery uh, quite easily by just following, you know, the markings in here. And then another one is just to connect a BMS or a balancer or whatever it is that you're going to end up using um, with this little connector that we have. And we have two connectors. We're going to put another one in there. We're going to develop another board that goes on top of this one. And then we're gonna choose like a BMS that is a good candidate for overall kind of BMS for a 12 volt battery. This one is for four cells and four cells makes 12 volts. And that's why this one's uh, listed as 24, right? So we will make a 24, which we already have the sample here and we're gonna test it and see like if we made a mistakes and stuff. And then we're gonna be listing that. And then obviously the biggest one is gonna be a 48 volt, right? And we don't know yet how I'm gonna go about that because these batteries are so big. I don't know if we're just gonna have to use two of the 24 or maybe one giant 48 one. We're still deciding that. But for right now, the first one, the most common one for people that are gonna run RVs, you know, they wanna like put a battery and replace their lead acid battery uh, or maybe like golf carts and stuff, they could start using this, right? You could treat this as a single 12 volt battery that is huge. This These cells right here are the 314. Uh, amp hours, right? So these are huge. These are one kilowatt hour. So you have four of these. This battery right here alone will be four kilowatt hours. About the equivalent of like three or four uh, lead acid batteries, uh, right? And you can get this for about 500 bucks once you put all the little things and stuff. So 
uh yeah it's very very competitive these last forever like i think it's like it's a rated at six to eight thousand cycles or something but if you use them like lightly you don't use them all the way you can get up to ten thousand that's what i'm reading all the forums and stuff people have been using these right and you can get these in several uh sizes you know the same dimensions physical dimensions but you can get them in 280 amp hours 304 amp hours or 314 and some of these test as good as 330 amp hours so they you know they're like really really huge batteries for the same physical size uh these are the most expensive one i think of the bunch but then you can get you know similar for a lot you, i think the best bang for your buck is going to be the 280 because those are the older ones and those are the ones that are most uh popular in the marketplace okay enough talking let's build this thing Okay, so to build this battery is gonna be super, super simple. You're gonna take your batteries, you're gonna put four of them like this together. They're gonna alternate. You start by, you know, looking at your PCB here, and this is the most uh, negative. So you put a negative here and then you alternate. Positive, negative, positive. Once you have that, then you take your little, your little sheets of uh, epoxy, you put them in there in between, and then, you take your board and check it out. You just make sure that it's positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, they match. And you put it in there. Look at that. Right? Then you take the bus bars that you got with your cells. Because these come with cells. Now, if you happen to have these batteries and you got them somewhere else, not through us, you might not have these bus bars. Uh, and so this right here pcb bus bar is good enough to do 100 amps so if you're putting a 100 amp uh bms on this battery here then you're good just to go like that you just put your you know your nuts in here and the pcb the copper in the pcb will transfer 100 amps um you know without anything else now but these batteries are large right up to 330 amp hours and so these are 1c batteries so even though they're not really power batteries well, 300 amps is still 300 amps. So you could uh, push these batteries at 1C. So you can load this at 300 amps. Now, you're going to do that. If your load can reach those levels, then, yeah, this PCB alone is not going to be able to do the whole job, right? And so that's why then you might want to use these. Now, if you have these, use them. Even if you're not, even if you're doing 100 amps because you have them, so just use them. It's good practice, right? So there's markings here where they go. You see these little markings here? So that's so you, because if you put them here, then you, you make sparks. I mean, this will just ruin and thing. And that's the thing about building these that first timers, beginners have trouble kind of conceptualizing how this works, right? With this board, you don't have to. So here we go. You put one in here because it's marked there. You put another one in here because it's marked there. And you put another one in there. And now you just use your little nuts in here. Okay, and just like that, you have built a 12-volt battery. Now, if you're not going to move the battery, you could leave it there. But now obviously, they uh, recommend that you compress these battery cells. And the way you do that is you put two plates in here, and then you put a little bit of compression, right? Uh, we are working on the compression plates. We've ordered them. They're not here yet, so that's why I'm not going to show them to you in this video, but I will make another video showing you how to make like a complete system, right? So then the next thing is to install your BMS, and we have this little green connector here, and it's labeled. So now you just connect. It's only five wires. When you have four cells, it's only five wires. Uh, and you just, uh, they have like little terminal screws in here, so like you just take the screws off, back them up, and then you connect your, your cables in there. In this case, we are gonna use just like a little BMS, uh, it's like a balancer, right? And so there's a lot of people in the world using these batteries just with a balancer. A balancer is, um, oh, let me see, what is this? Oh yeah, they're not fully tightened, so that's why they're not. So you have to tighten these. Uh, there we go, see, like you have this, and this is basically a, a path of a BMS. The BMS has two jobs, it has, uh, the job of balancing the cells and then, well, monitoring them cell voltages and then uh, balancing them. And then also if there's a problem, if they drift apart in uh, in voltage or if they get hot or they get too low or too high or whatever, then the, the BMS is supposed to stop 
the uh, load, disconnect the battery essentially, right? So this one doesn't do that. This one just does the balancing, the, the monitoring and balancing part of what the BMS does. And so this little unit here is very, very uh, small, very simple, very, you know, in a, inexpensive and you could use this and a lot of people are using batteries like this they just put their load in here they just every once in a while check and if the cells are uh, drifting apart then they, uh, there's a function here that you can uh, you can balance the cells as you can see here you click on that once it's green then it's balancing this one has 20 millivolt difference between these four cells so that's why you don't really need like a full size BMS because these cells are getting are getting better in quality and so they're like the difference between them are it's not huge like it used to be in the old days when i started using lithium ion phosphate 10 you know 12 years ago so that is as easy as doing that uh, once the compressions come in here i'll show you how to do that you could some people use wood some people use like other stuff to compress them in there and then once you have that you basically have your 12 volt battery right here this is four kilowatt hours worth of 12 volt battery and it's that easy to build you tighten these obviously right so that they don't get hot and stuff and then you put your uh positive in here and then your negative in here and then this wire could go to your load it's either an inverter or your rv uh if you want to use like different voltages than uh 12 volts like 24 you can use two of these and then connect them in in series if you want to do like a 36 volt uh golf cart then you use that you use three of these right and then you connect them in series uh you know i am gonna make like a, a box in here like a like a steel box to protect them just in case that you want to put them in that those sort of applications require some kind of protection right uh if you're just gonna use these for solar storage you can put them in your garage and stuff and you can put them in a shelf you don't really need a lot of stuff you can run a very minimalistic system like this that doesn't require a lot of stuff maybe just the like the compression plates and then that's it right it's kind of a naked battery but that's okay you know because they're not going to be moving around you're not going to be banging it around so it's like you you don't have to spend all that money and put like a huge you know uh enclosure for them you can if you want to it is safer it is you know there's some benefits of doing that but the costs go higher right so with this thing you know for about a uh, 500 bucks you can get a full like four kilowatt hour 12 volt battery and you could do that very easily as you can see as we did right now now obviously we are going to build another board on top of this that will have the B a bms built in already so that you can install the bms by simply doing the same thing we did here just taking a few screws and nuts and bolts and then tighten them and put them in there and then one little connector and then you're done you're ready to go uh we still haven't chosen the bms if you have one that you use if you have experience building batteries and you have an uh suggestion as to which bms to use for the 12 volt you know if it's 100 amp you, you know this one could go up to 300 amps because the batteries can support that much power uh let us know in the comments so that we can make a board for that that's the beauty but this is like if if you know if the good bms comes up in the marketplace then we could just design the board that's going to go on top of that it's going to be it's going to be compatible with with these right uh also stay tuned for the 24 volt version and then the 48 and then the compression plates but that's about it very very simple project now this video is sponsored by pcb way because that is the company that we use to print the pcb boards right and so uh what that means is that these designs are going to be open source i mean i share the files uh and the design and then you can you don't have to buy them from me i'm going to upload them to their service where you can go directly buy them where i buy them i buy them from the pcb shop on, in china you can go directly download the file and then order uh, with them so that way you eliminate me from the whole thing and you can get them at the best price now the only downside to this is you have to buy five boards right but if you're building a few of these or a bigger system you know more than five of these battery packs then yeah you don't buy them from me don't buy them from my website go buy them directly from uh pcb way so you can support the uh sponsor of this video right so i all of my designs i eventually if not from the very get-go from the very beginning i eventually i end up going and sharing them there and then there's links there's i'm gonna post links to where you can get all the parts like the connectors the wires the the nuts you know all that information is going to be there and you can go and do your own diy project 
and you don't have to buy it from me. You could just go directly to the source and that will save you a lot of money. And I'm all about saving money because DIY should be fun and should be affordable. And that's one of the reasons why we do DIY. So thank you PCB way for sponsoring all my projects along the years. We have so many designs for so many batteries, for so many uh, cells that are out there and we continue, right? I still have like another backlog of like about 10 of those. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna keep making these projects open source so that you can go and download the, 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 the files yourself and print them and you can edit them and all this stuff, right? All right, so thank you for watching these videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.